Antisocial behavior is behavior that is intended to cause harm or that disregards the safety and well-being of other people. One of the forms of antisocial behavior is direct physical aggression. According to the frustration aggression hypothesis, Bloch's progress towards a goal creates frustration, which promotes aggressive behavior. Other theories make a distinction between proactive and reactive aggression. Proactive aggression, also called instrumental or goal-directed aggression, is done in order to control an object or a situation. Reactive aggression is more associated with anger or frustration, and more likely to occur when a person is provoked, tired, or uncomfortable. Men tend to engage in more direct physical aggression, while women tend towards relational aggression, intending to cause psychological or social harm rather than physical harm. Bullying, or repeated behavior intended to cause psychological or emotional harm to another person, is another common form of aggression. People tend to have a strong sense of connection to their social and cultural groups, which can lead to in-group bias, a tendency to attribute positive behavior to one's in-group and negative behavior to out-groups. Members of an in-group can also express out-group homogeneity, the belief that all members of an out-group are similar, or all the same, such as having the same personality traits, characteristics, social roles, and interests. This can lead to stereotypes, preconceived beliefs about people in certain groups. Many stereotypes are harmful, such as the belief that some groups are aggressive or lazy. But even seemingly positive stereotypes, such as the idea that some groups are academically and athletically superior, are harmful because all stereotypes can influence a person's self-esteem, identity, and view of how they fit into society. In-group members may blame people outside of their in-group for frustrations or disappointments, known as the scapegoat hypothesis. This can lead to prejudice, preconceived negative attitudes or beliefs towards a person or group that's not based on evidence or experience, and discrimination, unfair treatment of people based on their social group. Discrimination can take many different forms. Some people express it directly, such as a refusal to hire someone from a certain group, using offensive terms, or even engaging in violent acts. But discrimination can also be more subtle, such as assuming that a young woman attending a meeting is an assistant rather than a high-ranking manager. People who feel that prejudice and discrimination are wrong can still have biases, including ones that they might not be aware of. Implicit bias refers to negative attitudes, stereotypes, and behaviors towards members of a group that occur mostly outside of a person's conscious awareness. It can be tested using the Implicit Association Test, or IAT. People also might hold biases related to the just world hypothesis, the idea that people deserve what they get and get what they deserve. For example, people tend to believe that disadvantaged outgroup members deserve their misfortunes, whereas in-groups have earned their good fortunes. Often people have limited contact with people from groups about which they hold negative stereotypes. This means that they have few opportunities to discover that their negative beliefs are not grounded in reality. The contact hypothesis suggests that integration of different social groups can help people understand one another and to recognize similarities between groups. But simple exposure is often not enough to change views. The most effective forms of contact involve personal interactions with members of different groups working towards a common goal.